Hey, welcome to the first time Death Battle review. This time it's Spirits vs Galaxy, the newest Death Battle. And yeah, I'm only going to do review on the newest Death Battle, not the old ones. And yeah, I'm just going to do the review on the animation part, not the entire thing. And because I don't know both characters that well. But at least I need it. I asked my friends for some like basic stuff for both characters to just understand the personality at least though. So yeah. Also yeah, I'm just gonna skip the animation. I won't talk about anything about Resolve. Do I think it's good or do I think it's right or not? Yeah, let's get dive into it. Just, I'm just gonna start with the good part first. First thing I like about the animation, it actually looks pretty nice. And honestly, whenever I first, I when I first saw the model, I was like, yeah, that is not too good. But when I look at the animation, when the battle itself, I just like, eh, actually, it looks pretty good, and I do like it. And honestly, I do see some effort put inside the animation as well. And that, yeah, that is one of the positive I can take inside. The And yeah, the voice acting is pretty decent, so I don't think it's like anything that wowed me, but it's like, it's decent, and I do buy the characters. So yeah, there's another positive I can take in the battle. It's unwise to vaporize a god's dessert. <laughs> this is the another thing that I like about it. They actually now bridge pretty well. I mean, I only look at a few episodes of Dragon Ball Super. And yeah, that part of this is a Beerus who just like lazy and just cares about food and just like I just want to destroy things. And yeah, I do think that Death Bell now it's pretty well to be honest. And his motivation of just oh I want to take revenge or because you destroy my dessert, it actually makes a lot of sense then because he blows up the earth he lives on. Actually, he does not live on it, but just killing people. So yeah, I do like the I do think that Beerus has done pretty well here. Hello there, stranger. Welcome. Yeah, that part is my favorite part of the animation. It's just so funny. It's just like hello there, stranger. Welcome. I mean, maybe because of the voice acting and the delivery, it just like <laughs> just makes me crack all the time when I watches it. And the song actually helps it well as well. I mean, there are some humor moments in the animation, like this one, which I actually pretty much like it. And yeah, the humor is pretty decent here. I mean, it doesn't give me like a big laugh or something. It at least gives me a few chuckles. And now, let's dive into the bad. Yeah, the clip I just showed you. Oh my god. First off, the, st the battle starts off with Galaxia just blow off the earth. I did not know why she wants to blow off the earth, to be honest. There's no explanation at all. And this is actually a perfect example of how Galaxia is just so out of character in the animation. Okay, both just looking at the animation alone and just based on her anime counterparts. I mean, I don't watch... Sailor Scouts, that, what is that name again? But the, the anime, but my friend watches it and he actually said that it's so out of character for Galaxy to actually did that. I mean, he even said that it's just, she won't just blow the earth or other planet, planets because she might, maybe she needs something like, oh, yes, you don't listen to me, so I blow the earth. And this animation just did not show us anything about that. It's just so random. And yeah, I'm, the biggest complaint is actually Galassia's character. Let's just show you more reasons of why it also makes no sense in the animation alone. Kneel for me. You catch that part? Because she just controlled them and just like, they not even dare destroy the planets. And yeah. I mean, oh my, I mean, you can just make the argument of, oh, she's just controlling two people. I mean, why does she need to blow up the planet because of that? I mean, she at least bowed to them, so she does not need to blow up the planet. Fine. I mean, yeah, you can say that, but... Even that, that only contradicts of, okay, let's just show you what happens when she leaves the planet. 
Yeah, the planet is still here. Still, ex the destruction is because they fight each other. So yeah, the motivation is already contradict itself already. She uh, does she want to bow to people bow to her or she just wants like just to blow things up? I don't know because the animation contradicts itself already. Okay, if you still don't buying it, uh, let me give you one more example. <laughs> You catch that? This part is just like, I want you to be mine. I just want to control you and just use you as my puppet. And then, before that, this is what she said. You're trash! You'll die like dirt! Yeah, this is literally the line before that. It really retconned itself, right? Do you want to kill him or you just want to control him? Make up your damn mind. I just don't know why you want to. What do you want to? Yeah, the animation of Galassia already contradicts itself, right? If this plan know literally nothing about her in the anime. Eh, yeah. That's why this is not a character you... That's why Galassia is just not really good here. I mean, I still don't know what her motivation is. Catch that part? That is the part of... Fear is somehow not noticing a giant sun in his head. Yeah, let's just dumb down the intelligence of the character just to put push the fight forward. I mean, you can make the argument of him just like focusing on blasting things, even though she's literally just behind him. Okay, fine, you just don't notice the person behind you. Do you notice a giant sun above you? I mean, I, I'm sure that if someone turned on a the lights in my room, and I'm just doing homework or playing video games. I'll still notice it, and let alone this does not even bother him. Yeah, and yeah, that, that is just so stupid. And they can't just dumb down Beer's intelligence in that scene already. And not to mention, why does Galassia think that throwing a giant sun to a person is a great sneak attack? That's just a nitpick, I know. And yeah, also the dialogues. I don't know how this Galassian respond to some simple questions so terribly. Like this for example. I is to vaporize a god's dessert. <laughs> Witness my infinite power. Yay. <laughs> when someone asks you to just not do that and just like, hey, it's not right to do that. The, the, the thing that she said is just like, I have so many powers, and I just want to beat you. That is how you. That is, you don't respond. I know you want to kick his ass. I mean, like, I she can respond just like who cares. Just like something, just like that instead of just like I have infinite powers. I'm just kick your ass. That just out of play to be honest. And honestly, I just gonna skip to the final issue, the ending. Yeah, this part. How do I say this part right? It's just like I'm just gonna quote my one of my one of the person I talked to when he saw the animation. When he just saw Beer just blasting her like they're just like what? You never thought of just blasting her with a stronger blast before? That is just pretty anticlimactic. Even I agree with that. It's just all you need to do just blast her with a stronger blast. What a climax, right? <laughs> I mean, all you need to do is just like Hakai her. I mean, that actually immediately makes sense, to be honest. Instead of doing this. And those are most of my issues. Of course, there are so many issues with the animation. Like, there's also one bad dialogue of... Look what you did! From Galassia. And I'm just like, what, what did you do? What did he do? I mean, he did not like blow up a planet you're on. You, there's no person you actually care about. Yeah, that is just bad dialogue right there. Then, yeah. Yeah, I can't sum it up for this review. I mean, it looks good. It has good voice acting, and there's some good humor inside. But, uh, and Beerus actually represent pretty decent, even though they can't dumb him down and just speak bad dialogues because. 
but at least he's consistent. But I can't say for Galassia here, she's just so inconsistent in the animation, which I don't know what is she doing. What's the motivation and and the enemy anticlimactic dumbing down intelligence and bad dialogues in here just like nah. I mean, you can turn your brain off and enjoy it, I guess. I mean, but when I actually think about it, just everything just kind of falls falls apart for me. I mean, this animation gets a five out of ten.